Alrighty, welcome to Lord of the Rings draft here on the place to be for drafts. Got new drafts every day here on this YouTube channel. And uh, we've opened Arwen Mortal Queen. Very good card. 3 mana 2 2 indestructible. Great start. I would just play that card and be happy. But you can also pay one and remove the counter from Arwen, making her no longer indestructible. And then uh, give another creature indestructible to end of turn. So save it in combat or from a removal spell. And that creature gets plus one, plus one on lifelink, as does Arwen. Great card. Uh, Going to have to pass Build a Pony. Another good card for green-white, for sure. There's also East Farthing Farmer for green-white. And then uh, Generous Ent is just a solid card. So is Errand Rider of Gondor. Draw a card if you have a legend. And if you don't, you have to put, the card, put a card back from your hand. So still even decent. But I think pretty easy. Arwen, the Mortal Queen here. We are in early access. So uh, let's see if... Uh, this sneak peek at Lord of the Rings bears fruit, or food in this case. Ooh, Bill the Pony. Love it. Bill the Pony is a great ring bearer, which I don't think that's like a huge flavor win, but I guess Bill the Pony helping get the ring to Mordor could, could work. Hard to block at one power, and then you can sack a food to effectively make Bill into a 4-4. Also, you can target your other creatures you control if you have any other creatures with higher toughness. There's also Minas Tirith, which is a good value add. Like, I would always play this card and be pretty happy with it. But I don't think it's going to be as good as just taking a 4-mana four 4-4 four, four with upside, which is what Bill is. A lot of upside, actually. Passing up on another Generous Ent, Breaking of the Fellowship's a fine card. Birthday Escape's actually a pretty good card. So is Eagles of the North. But I think after Arwen, taking a Bill the Pony makes a lot of sense. I'm um, probably still going to take a, a, an off-color card here. Old Man Willow, I think, is a ridiculous card. Four mana for what is minimum a 4-4 four, four, and most likely like a 5-5 five, five, or 6-6. Six, six. And it attacks, you get to throw food at one of their creatures. Or you can just hack a creature. Very good card. And getting it third pick is definitely a signal. Ents Fury is also pretty good. But I don't think it's nearly as good as Old Man Willow. And I can work out the colors. Plus, Obzon is kind of the food colors. So a lot of the build arounds that I could take work in this set. Passing up on Strider, Ranger of the North, also a pretty good card. Four mana, four, four, that is often going to attack as a five, five first strike. Arwen's Gift, which I was pretty impressed with uh, playing in some earlier drafts. This is my fourth draft of the entire format. And then Generous Ent is also good, but I'm going to take Old Man Willow. I mean, Bill makes food, Old Man Willow consumes the food. Looks good to me. Okay, Errand Rider of Gondor. I mean, I took three legendary creatures in a row here. So a 3-mana three 3-2 three that draws a card sounds like a good deal to me. And again, the fail case here is you get kind of a loot. You draw a card and put a card on the bottom. So that's not even bad. What it means if I take Errand Rider is probably I'm going to want to be green-white splash black. But I think that's okay. It's still stronger to take a green card because I'm more green than any other color. But I think Errand Rider is enough better than Mushroom Watchdogs. So I wouldn't mind this card. This card's also pretty good, I think. A good two-drop that's got relevance in the late game. Revive the Shire, I think, is worse than Mushroom Watch Dogs and Eastmark Cavalier. Certainly worse than Aaron Rider. This basically has death touch for orcs and goblins, but I'm going to take Aaron Rider here. Ooh, Celeborn the Wise. Four mana, three, three. When you attack with an elf, scry one. One or more elves, you scry one total. And then whenever you scry, Celeborn the Wise gets plus one, plus one until end of turn for each card you looked at. Eh. That's not actually crazy good. I mean, the best card in the pack is Meneldor, Swift Savior. Don't think I'm supposed to dip into blue here. Bag End Porter, I think, is also kind of medium. Four mana, four, four, where tax is maybe a five, five, or six, six. Kind of interested in Lothlorien Lookout. Two mana, one, three, when it attacks, scry one. Eh. And there's also Troll of Cause of Doom, which is actually a pretty good splash for Old Man Willow. I think I'm actually going to take the Troll here. I want to play Old Man Willow. This is a good way to splash it. Oh, I like Faramir a lot. Four mana, three, three. If a creature died this turn, I draw a card. Well, one of my creatures. And then whenever the ring tempts me, as long as I don't choose Faramir, I get a 1-1, one, one, which then can trigger its Faramir's first ability. There's also an Aaron Rider and an Eagles of the North. So a lot of really good white cards. White seems quite open. Pretty easy Faramir here. I think it's just a really good card. I can attack with Old Man Willow, sack a 1-1 token, get a, draw a card, get another token if something tempts me. Currently, no ring temptings yet, but, you know, th those are those are sure to come here. Okay. So, two mana, or sorry, three mana, 1-1 one, one makes a food coming and going. It's decent. 
Stalwarts of Osgiliath is just okay. Five mana, four, three, tempts you, and then whenever you draw a second card, you get a plus one, plus one counter. My curve's kind of high, so I'm not really looking for that. The best card in the pack, I think, is Torment of Gollum. You get to make them discard and amass two, but I think I'm supposed to just take Brandywine Farmer. Both these green cards are really good, and white, green, splash, black seems like a pretty good plan, so let's, let's do that. All right, here's a bunch of green cards. Uh, there's Lembus, which is decent. Inherited Envelope, which is decent. Five green cards, let's see. I think Gift of Strands is fine, but I don't think it's as good as Ents Fury. So this is a fight spell. And if your creature has four power or greater, it uh, gets a plus one, plus one counter as well as a plus one, plus one. There's also Mushroom Watchdogs. Oh, this is tough because I really like the fight spell and I don't have any removal besides Old Man Willow so far. I think the two drop is too important, especially with Brandywine Farmer. Okay, that's a late generous Ent, and I'm really happy to pick up some land cyclers. Having two to three land cyclers, I think, is going to be very good in this format. I also like Sirith Ungul Patrol. Like, it lets you sack a creature to get a card and a food. And Revive the Shire is really nice because I have all these really good legends, but I'm going to take Generous Ent. I feel like you can pick up a Revive the Shire if you want. All right, another Generous Ent. Now I'm pretty much set on land cyclers. Well, look, now I get to take Ent's Fury. There's two really good green cards with four cards left. Actually, all of these cards are good. Amass two, make a treasure, and scry two, draw two. All of these are fine, but let's just take Ents Fury. Oh, and another Mushroom Watchdogs. Okay, well, green is super open. I'll take Look Florian Lookout, but I'm probably... That's the first card that I've drafted that I don't think I'm going to play. 1-3 when it attacks scry one is just not what this deck seems to be doing. I have no payoffs for scry, and it's not quite good enough on its own. If you have a lot of ring tempting you, the 1-3 stat line is pretty good for that, but we're not we're not right there. Delighted Halfling. One mana, one, two. Taps for a colorless or taps for a mana of any color to cast a legendary spell. Love that. I'm probably going to take that. This makes all these four drops into just really good cards. And also just one mana, one, two, tap for a colorless is good. There's a long list of the Ents. Every time you play a creature for the next million turns, it gets a plus and plus one counter. There's an Ents Fury that I'm probably going to wheel. There's Gothmog, which I actually wouldn't hate uh, trying to splash because it's a 3-3 three, three that makes a, a one on death touch. Jules, get over here. Stupid dog. And uh, well, nothing else seems all that impressive, but certainly a Delighted Halfling is the pick. I don't think that's particularly close. <laughs> There's Sauron, which is another card which I've wanted to, to go into uh, black four 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 menace and reanimate something in my graveyard but i think i'm just going to take another old man willow i think that's probably better than soren and easier to splash though depending on how things go i could also be green black maybe splash arwen faramir i have if green's going to be that open i can just choose later golem's bite is also decent i mean not even decent golem's bite is good but old man willow is really good and maybe wheel of shire terrace or one of these black cards who knows well, I, I like where I'm at. I mean, double Old Man Willow with, like, the Brandywine Farmer. This gives you three things to sacrifice to Old Man Willow. That's pretty good. Okay, what do we have here? We have a Blue Mythic Rare, which we're not going to take. We have Celeborn the Wise, which I still am not that interested in. Stalwarts of Osgiliath. No, not really. Lash of the Balrog could be a decent splash. You have to sack a creature to play this for one mana which is decent with like Brandywine Farmer or with Faramir actually, it lets you manage this and gets you a token. Or it could take Enraged Huorn, but I think this card's pretty replaceable. Five mana, four, five trample plus tempting. So let's just take Lash of the Balrog. I, I, I think that's a pretty solid splash. Also, depending on where we end up, could, I mean, I don't know, could be not splashing. Could just be three colors. Here's another Lash, but these do get a little worse in multiples. On the other hand, Aaron Rider, when I have so many legends, right now I've got one, two, three, four, five legends. And I wouldn't be surprised if I picked up a few more. Plus, every if you if you ever get tempted, you get a legend too. I think that's better than pacifism. This makes a creature unable to attack or block or remove another removal spell. Just such good value. Okay, another Brandywine Farmer. The black cards are not that impressive. This amass one, draw a card, lose a one. Uh, this pumps your whole squad, which is okay, and, and it's cheaper if you have a legend, but I think I'm just going to take the Brandywine Farmer. Don't really need another Generous Ent. There is Ent's Fury, 
which works pretty nicely with Old Man Willow. But I might just take many partings. This gets you a food and a basic land is a good way to splash. And getting the food is nice with these double mushroom watchdogs. And in terms of removal, we've got two Old Man Willows, Ents Fury, Lash the Balrog. And I think there's a chance I wheel a different Ents Fury. So let's just take many partings. How many creatures do I have? 15 creatures. I have a lot of creatures. That makes Elven Farsight a little more interesting. Scry three and then draw a card if your top card's a creature. It's also Dunedain Blade. Gives a creature plus two, plus one. Equip human one. The problem is those two are human, but Brandywine Farmers are not. It is good with Faramir. Eh, actually, I think I'll take the blade. I'm not that likely to play either. I think I'm a little more likely to play the blade. Okay, pick eight. I'll take another Mushroom Watchdogs. I think Mushroom Watchdogs is just very good. And having a good curve here seems pretty good. Turn two Watchdogs into like Brandywine Farmer is pretty good. Uh, Delighted Halfling's also a way to, to jump up the curve very nicely. We're looking at a 16 land deck. Right now I've got three black cards to splash off Troll and many partings. And then five white cards all right another lash of the balrog the best card in the pack is grishnok brash instigator three mana one one a mass two and then you steal a non-legendary creature with power equal to or less than your army so that's pretty cool till end of turn wizards rockets this lets me uh fix my mana but i think is just not it's kind of a filler card well i don't really need another lash i will take another troll because all things being equal I could probably play two trolls, one generous ent. Uh, I guess I'll take the black breath, but whatever. Okay, there's 70,000 lashes. What's up this? Whatever, I'm just taking the Meneldor Swift Savior. I just I just can't do it. All right, I'll pass a red card. Blue seemed really open from that direction. Ooh, Smeagol, helpful guide. I think I like this one. So three mana, four, two, and if a creature died... So this is another card which triggers at the end of my turn if a creature's died... I get tempted, and when whenever I get tempted, I mill them until I put a land and and put a put that land into play. All right, I like that. Don't need the fifth lash. Don't need another Ents Fury. Don't really need another Land Cycler. Whereas Smeagol seems like a pretty nice uh, way to to just get a lot of value. I what else do I have? Faramir is the other card I have. Where if the ring tempts me, I'm getting a payoff. And I don't think it's going to be difficult to, to trade off creatures here, especially with Double Lash of the Balrog. Errand Riders make me want to be base white, more, well, base green, but splash white. But uh, I am edging up a number of black cards. Either way, though, I'm probably just going to take another Build a Pony. I think the upside of making a bunch of food and having this play as a 4 4 is pretty nice. Banish from Idoras is fine. Exile for five or exile for three if the creature's tapped, but build a pony is actively great. And now I also have more legends for Aaron Rider. I do have two copies of two different legends, but Old Man Willow, if they're not dealing with this, they're going to lose badly. And Bill also is a pretty burly card that's going to trade off a lot of the time. All right, Glorfindel, three mana, three, two. And when you scry, this gets plus and plus one. It either has to be blocked or can't be blocked by more than one creature. Uh, I'm not really doing a lot of scrying here. I'm not going to lie. Currently, I don't have any scry cards. I have a Lothlorien Lookout in my sideboard that I don't really want to play. This is a 3-mana three 3-2 three, with upside. It's okay. Soldier of the Grey Host, I think, is kind of weak. 2-2 two, two Flying Flash gives plus 2, plus 0. Oh. Enraged Horn might be good. I wouldn't mind getting another Ring Tempt Me card in. And a 5-mana 4-5 four, Trample is not bad. And I don't think I want to play Torment of Golem. I don't want to have that many... Uh, black cards. Okay, so we have 20 creatures right now. All creatures. Elven Chorus. You can look at the top card of your library anytime, and you can cast creatures from the top, and your, all your creatures are Birds of Paradise. Okay, I'm pretty interested in that. Quick Beam is not bad either. Six mana, five, six gives two creatures plus two, plus two, and trample. And then if you look at Tree Folk, I've got five Tree Folk. Wow. Kind of hard to pass up on Quick Beam when I have Arranged Horn, two Generous Ents. Yeah, I like Elven Chorus, but I think Quick Beam is going to be fantastic. Voracious Fell Beast is a really good card. Six mana, four, four flying, and they have to sack a creature and you get a food. 
but I think taking the Woes Pathfinder to tap for any color is probably going to be better. I've got a lot of good sixes already. I think that's going to be better than Lembus or anything like that. All right. Ooh, Peregrine Took. Whenever you make a token, you also get a food token. So what, how am I making tokens? One, um, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's six ways. There's also three mana, four, two, and it dies. The ring tempts you. Uh, I think I'll go with Pippin here. Peregrine Took looks okay. I like Oath of the Grey Host. But I think on the splash, it's less good because it's already a really slow card. It is nice with Peregrine Took, but Hobbit Sting also could be pretty good. I have tons of creatures in my deck, and this just is like a two mana deal, two to four damage. It also counts the food, so it's probably just going to kill everything. At this point, I'm, I, I don't think I'm playing any of these cards. It doesn't seem likely, and we're playing best of one, so sideboard cards or whatever. Blue seemed also pretty open. I might just cut these Ents Furies, I don't know. I uh, don't think the Grey Haven is where I want to be, and I don't think I'm going to play all these Ents either. I guess I could see playing Sirith Ungold Patrol. I have a bunch of sack cards, or rather I have Smeagol and Faramir, which both make me want to sacrifice a creature every turn. I don't think I'm playing Shilob's Ambush either. Another old Patrol. All right, let's go to deck building. I have a lot of playables here. Maybe the Enraged Huorn is, is not... Is not good enough. Yeah, the white. Maybe it's maybe we're back to splashing white. I don't know. Last pick, Lorien Reveal. I, I like that card too. Okay. All right. So this is. So let's. I'm gonna play Old Man Willows for sure. Man, Build a Pony and Faramir both seem so good in my deck, and Arwen is just a messed up cards. <sighs> So how does my mana look here? I've got Woe's Pathfinder. Delighted Halfling also casts Legends of any color. So it can cast Build a Pony and Faramir or Old Man Willow. And I have Double Land Cycling Troll. Yeah, that's pretty good. I also have Smeagol. I'm going to play all three colors. The question is, basically, I'm, let me cut the Lashes, the Sting, the two Aaron Riders, and the Seerith Ungol Patrol. And the enraged horn. And maybe one of the Ents Furies. Okay, so this is let's say let's say this is 39, and let's take out the lands for a second, because I'm gonna play 16 lands probably. And maybe I'll take out one generous ent. So I get to play three cards, and so it will inform my mana a bit. Do I want to play two Lash of the Balrog and a Seerith Ungol Patrol? Do I want to play double Errand Rider? How many legends do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a lot of legends. How many tree folk do I have in the deck right now? Four. Generous Ent, double Old Man Willow, and then Quick Beam. I could just play another Generous Ent. I mean, the card, even at even as a like, at risk of getting flooded, this card's still really good. Land cycling for one man is really good. Yeah, I like the Errand Riders. I think they're pretty good. Is it possible that I want to play any Sirith, Sirith Ungold Patrols or Lashes or Hobbit Sting? And if so, do I want to cut like a Brandywine Farmer? What is making these food good for me? Well, it's pretty good with Mushroom Watchdogs. It's good with Peregrine Took. And it's good with Old Man Willow. This can sack that or that. I also have the two Old Man Willows to sack to make Faramir and Smeagol work. So I'm kind of into just play the two... Errand Riders, it seems like a really good value card. I could play 15 lands, it wouldn't be crazy. I have four one mana land cyclers. If I were to do that, what would I put in? Another Ents Fury. Is Ents Fury good? I guess I can get these up to 4-4 four, four pretty easily for Ents Fury. Currently I have 22 creatures. Uh, just every single card's a creature. I wonder if this is actually better than the enchantment that I, I could have taken. I don't know. This seems pretty good with all these tree folk and just... I have a couple mana accelerants. I have Delighted Halfling and Woe's Pathfinder to accelerate it out. Also, Smeagol kind of accelerates it out. Yeah, Ents Fury seems pretty good. It's not a good combo with Bill because Bill doesn't actually have four power because this is a combat damage. Do I want all these Mushroom Watchdogs? I think so. I can make food off many partings. The two Brandywine Farmers. Peregrine makes more food. Bill the Pony makes a bunch of food. Er Generous Ents make food. 
Yeah, I don't really want to play 15 land. I think 16 is going to be better. I don't think I want another Ents Fury, if anything. Don't want a sword. I don't want Enraged Horn, though. This would be another Tree Folk, which is funny. All right, I think I'm going to do this. And I'm going to play... What if I play two Swamps, five Plains, and nine Forests? Wow, I feel, I feel like I could actually go to one less land. Can I put something... Some, is something worth playing? Because right now I have two... Three, four, five, six black sources, five, six, seven white sources, and ten, ten green sources. Many partings doesn't really count, though it does count as the other ones. And I don't have that even that many more white cards than black cards. I have, oh, also a Delighted Halfling counts as a white source for my four white legends, just not the two Aaron Riders. Yeah, that seems fine. Do I want to put in a Lash of the Balrog? I have a pretty good amount of black sources. Oh, and then uh, the Delighted Halfling also counts for Old Man Willow, which is nice. Or do I want to play another land? Sirith Ungold Patrol, another Ents Fury. A little scared to put in a second Ents Fury. I think I'm going to put in a Lash of the Balrog. All right, let's see. Hopefully don't get too punished for greed here, but... Feels like with four land cyclers at one mana, most one lander plus land cycler hands are pretty good. They count, they're not that different from a land. The biggest drawback will be if I have Delighted Halfling, the one mana one two. If I have that in my opening hand and I have to land go like swamp land cycler for forest, it's that's a little bit awkward. But overall, I think that this this plan should work pretty well. Let's let's take a look. Appreciate you hanging out with me today as we uh, draft some Lord of the Rings, the new set here. And this is Turbo Food. Playing against the Ham. Ooh, this is a worthy opponent indeed. I'm on the play, and I like this hand. Do I cycle the Generous Ent is the question, because Currently, I've got two drop, three drop, four drop, but I kind of don't want to play this on turn three because I can play it next the turn after. So I think I'm going to wait on cycling here. Yeah. And then now I play the Mushroom Dogs. And Arwen and Domiel. All right. Old Man Willow. That's a good one. Hmm. Do I play the, the Errand Rider here? I feel like I, now I have a, too many plays to not play this. So let's draw. And let's just put the Generous Ent back on the bottom. And then attack. Okay. Next turn, I'm probably going to play Old Man Willow. And then follow that up with uh, Build a Pony here. All right. This is a really good combo. Scry and then put a counter on a creature. Okay. Peregrine Took. Oh, that's not a bad one either. So let's play Old Man Willow. Hit with the Errand Rider. I mean, they're, they're not blocking anyway. But these two, this is such a sick turn two, turn three play. I guess I'm glad I put in the Lash. Because that's going to be pretty useful at maybe breaking this up if I can find it. I could also go for Ents Fury, either one of those. Is going to be critical here because old man willow can give a creature minus two minus two but any creature takes both of these out of the range because this gets you a counter whenever you scry and this when it plays a creature you scry so you can see how that uh how that is difficult i could play build a pony make this a three three attacker and then i attack with everything and that's still a pretty good amount of damage because at some point it's going to have to do something okay Ents Fury. So we're fighting there. Unfortunate for me. Yeah, I don't think I'm winning this game now. Tap that, scry, and attack for a million. All right. Yeah, two drop, three drop into, into a double spell turn is pretty gnarly. 11... Can attack for seven. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can play Brandywine Farmer. I think I'm going to do is play Bill. Make two food. Sack of food to give this vigilance. Attack for six. 
and then pass the turn. And I've got some good blockers in play. I really need to draw something cheap that I can play in the same turn. Okay, so this gets two plus one plus one counters. Yeah, I'm going to need the Lash or Ents Fury. Those would both go a long way here. Two bottom. Put a counter on something. Probably the Willow Wind. But all right, and then scry again. One top. Put a counter on something. Could be Elrond, but I guess it's probably not attacking on the ground here. Okay. Is it nine? This is effectively a 4-4. Four, four. All right. Uh, that is really not going to do it. I can't get tempted till end of turn. Could play Peregrine Took. Yeah, I really needed that old man Willa not to just get killed for two mana. Uh, what do I do here? I think what I do is play Peregrine Took. I could play Brandywine Farmer, make this a 5-5 five, five and attack. What would that do for me? I could block with Elrond, or I could double block. I take out Will the Wind. Yeah, no, actually, I think that that's going to be the play here. Okay. Attack with the, the Watchdogs. Offer the trade. I mean, this is... I'll take any, I'll, I'll trade for any any of these creatures, I guess. Okay, getting Elrond off the board is something at least. And then maybe if I draw another land, I get to play both these in the same turn. Doesn't even really do that much because, all right, two top and then <clears throat> gonna draw a Lothlorien lookout, sure. What I really need to draw is, is, is Again, Lash. I don't at this point Ends Fury is not even good enough. Well, actually it would be good enough on Smeagol. They would trade, which might be enough. Birthday escape, draw a card, the ring tempts you. You make the Lothlorian look at the ring bearer, sure. Mm-hmm. Attack for five, put lethal on the board basically. Then that is not a lash. Not at all. Um Peregrine took. Wow, into stern scolding. Uh, I guess I'll attack with the Brandywine Farmer. <clears throat> I'm at six. Yeah, I'm just dead to any. I'm just dead to these attacking, actually. So, yeah. Arwen into, into Elrond, the, the elf one two punch. That'll take us down here. Maybe Peregrine Took is just bad. This is the second deck I've had I've had Peregrine in, and both times it's been kind of bad. Let's take out this, and let's just put another Ents Fury in the deck, and then go from there. <coughs> and, uh, yeah, just wanting a little more interaction. So I have two Ents Furies, two Old Man Willow if they survive, and a Lash. It's not a bad amount. And then I gain a lot, I, I make a lot of food, so that does gain a lot of life as well. So that's also pretty solid. Basically, we both had, you know, kind of powerful engines. Mine got killed immediately, and I never disrupted theirs. And that is, well, that's tough. All right, round two time. I go first. So, many partings into food, sure. This hand is not amazing, but Errand Rider does help fix it a bit. Let's go get my Swamp here. And I am only playing 15 lands, so that, that I'm, I'm not going to, you know, if the game goes long enough, I'm not necessarily going to draw tons of land. All right. Arwen Mortal Queen is a pretty nice draw. So cer would certainly rather play Arwen first, Errand Rider second. Question is, do I sack food end of turn? So I have two copies of Old Man Willow. That makes me want to just not sack the food for now. And uh, me and just wait. I don't really have a, a dire need to do so. 
Hopefully they don't have minus two, minus two. No, they have three mana, three, two, the ring tempts you. Yeah, that is not the same. We are not the same. Uh, let's go errand rider, draw a card. I'm just gonna attack with my indestructible. Do I wanna block and make this indestructible with Arwen? Not really, no. I will block the Urukai Berserker though, I'd be fine with that. They could also try to kill Errand Rider, in which case I could make it indestructible and, and lifelink. Old Man Willow. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, land. Let's go Brandywine Farmer. Make a food. Lash of the Balrog. Sack a creature. Target Old Man Willow. Sack the Brandywine Farmer. Make another food. And attack with these. Mm, yeah, I'm in, I'm in to do this. Now that they're tapped out, this saves my errand rider, and now I have a four four a four three life link and a three three life link, and now ends Fury's on because now I have a four power creature. And if they kill one of my creatures, then next turn I still have another one plus another Brandywine farmer. Seems like a reasonable place to be. All right, they cast Lash of the Balrog. Build the pony. Uh, if you build it, they will come. All right, build a pony. I'm at 30. I'm actually about to go to 33 because I'm probably going to sack a thing end of turn. Okay, they made a 5-6. I, I don't directly have a way to get that out of the, to get that off the battlefield here. Woe's Pathfinder. I could attack and swap that and then Ents Fury, but I don't think that's very good. Let's just play my creatures and maybe set up an attack at some point here. Now, obviously, I wish I would just have drawn Pippin, Peregrine Took. I would have gained a million food and been able to sack it to draw a bunch of cards. And do they have a kill spell? Honestly, Woe's Pathfinder is quietly one of the strongest cards on my board right now because I'm getting to the point where I can pay seven and tap it and give a creature plus three plus three until end of turn. Oh, Mushroom Watchdogs. That's a good way to use up food. Play this. Do I want to sack? I think I will sack a food here. Okay, I just didn't want to get this getting hit by a minus two, minus two. And I think I'm going to wait. I could, like, I could make this big and then f use Ents Fury on the quick beam. I'm, I'm, I'm scared of them having a trick, though. Yeah, no, this is, this is the right turn to do this, actually. So now put a counter on this, and then it gets plus plus one and fights that. Oh, man, there's so much that wrecks me. Shalob's uh, trick, the plus one, plus two, death touch, make a food, is so brutal here. No, let's actually just wait. I've, I've gotten scared here. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I guess I'm glad I didn't go for it. All right, so that was there. They had to hunt the conies, which or stew the conies, which basically is a bite, and then okay, enraged horn. So quick beam triggers. I'm at millions of lives, so I can take a bit of a hit here. The, the ring tempts them up to two now. Where else do they get tempted from? Oh yeah, Urukai Berserker. So now they have a ring bearer. They're going to attack with that. Oh, they're attacking with quick beam. Okay. Mm. I guess trample. I guess I'm just going to take it. I got a 21. I'm not going to sack a food end of turn. I'm going to draw land. Attack with these two. And then now I have the Woes Pathfinder. So that is pretty good. Target Arwen. 
and build a pony target itself. If they don't have anything, they take 10 here. And I gain six life. So yeah, that, that, that was a pretty good swing. So now we're at 27. They didn't sack the food end of turn, interesting. I thought their attack with quick beam was a little bit premature because drawing any land would kind of lead to, well, what exactly would happened. Okay. Three, four, scry two. Two bottom. All right. Are they gonna play their last card? I still think they should have sacked their food end of turn last turn. I'm not sure why they didn't. Oh, interesting. So we're back at this again. So if I pump Bill to a 4-7 and they block, it basically becomes a 7-7. Seven, seven. And then it can kill one thing. Mm -hmm. I have to sack one of my food. Alternately, I can play Mushroom Watchdogs, sack two food, then Ents Fury, kill Quick Beam and then set up an attack next turn. All right. I'm probably not gonna play around a removal spell here. I don't think I'm supposed to. Okay, sack these two. Mushroom Watchdog fight quick beam. Okay, that goes down. Success and I could attack with Brandywine Farmer to get a food. Eh, don't need to do that. All right, they're going to sack to gain three and drain me for one. Off the bat. Right off the bat. <laughs> they get to attack and loot again. So, that, I mean, that is pretty good. They're seeing more cards than me. If they can kill the Woe's Pathfinder, I'm not loving my spot. The Mushroom Watchdogs is at least a 5-5. Five -five. Okay, I go to 22. Stew the conies, yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, it's time to draw some action. Whenever a halfling attacks, you make a food. Nah, eh, that's not that good. I guess I'm gonna attack with the mushroom watchdogs. Trade for the enraged horn, just getting things off the board. Oh, they're gonna triple block, sure. No, well, I'll still trade with the enraged horn. All right, pass the turn. Mm, bad attacks. I, I I still have a life total advantage here, but they're getting to draw an extra card every turn. They have to loot, so they're not like up tons of cards. But look, you know, I've got nine lands. They have seven in play, but they have one, two, three lands in their graveyard, and that's a big difference. Now I don't even have an attack. I could attack with the Brandywine Farmer. That opens the door to attack with Bill? I don't think so. Okay. They're at effectively eight. Oh, I, I could really go for all, any of my land cyclers. I have four land cyclers in my deck, and they're all pretty big. I could also go for my own copy of uh, Quick Beam. I have one of those, and that would that would go pretty well here. Okay, I take two. Rise of the Witch King. Well, I guess I'm glad I didn't throw that thing away. What do they get back? Is it Quick Beam? No, Old Man Willow. Yeah, that's a 7-7. Seven, seven. It's pretty good. All right, I don't have any lands left. <laughs> uh, I have five lands left and 19 cards, and that's not good news for me. I guess I'll pass. They don't... I guess Old Man Willow can't kill something off the bat, but... I get hit for a lot of damage. They are at five, so I guess they have to watch out a little bit. Oh, they're not attacking with Old Man Willow. Well, that's a sign of weakness. It means they don't directly have something in hand, though I'm sure they're going to play something soon here, given that they have drawn five extra cards or six extra cards off the ring. Okay. There's Ungool Patrol. Yep. <laughs> uh, all right, I think we're done here. Starting O2. Oh, I don't love it. I don't love it. Hmm. Let's dig back into the sideboard. So both games, 
I just ended up with, I mean, I, I even went down to 15 land to try to mitigate that, but I haven't even really been drawing the land cyclers a bunch. So it's not even like they have caused me to flood. Uh, do I want to play something like Sirith Ungul Patrol? It would be good with these Brandywine farmers. What am I supposed to cut for that? It would make Smeagol a little better. Like the Ents Furies have seemed fine. Mm -hmm. I wonder if maybe these errant, maybe instead of errant riders, maybe, hold on, let's let's just cut, try cut, let's try rebuilding. Playing two of those, two Sirith Ungol patrols instead of the two uh, errant riders of Gondor. Playing another Lash, going down to two planes and up to five swamps. I have plenty of black sources then, but I still need to cut one card. I mean, do I, is it, no, I don't want to cut Faramir. This will make all my uh, cards that trigger off something dying a lot better for sure. Maybe I just cut a build a pony then just to minimize. So I only have three white cards. They're all really strong and I can cast them off Woe's Pathfinder. Delighted Halfling now casts all my white cards. Many partings. I have two of those to sack. Brandywine Farmers helps Faramir. Mushroom Watch. All right, let's try this. Don't know if this is better, but both times the the both the first two games, like the second game, I I started pretty strong and I pushed through a bunch of damage and then I kind of petered out. Maybe a couple more spells would have done the trick. I don't know, but I ended up just kind of stuck with not much to do. And then the first game, I wasn't able to stop. Like I had two less removal spells than I do now. So opponent goes first. Yeah, I will keep this hand. I need to draw something on the cheaper side, but I've got a I've got a bunch of stuff I could draw here. Uh, honestly, I'm just gonna wait on cycling the the troll here. I don't really have like a black two drop that I'm missing, and uh, I get to play Arwen on three, which is nice. I should probably cycle the troll now. I was seeing if I would draw a swamp then I probably wouldn't cycle it, but at this point, I think it's probably worth it. Mm, it's Fury. Yeah, I'm just going to play this. I feel like it's going to get countered. Maybe I could have waited one turn. Yeah, Saruman's trickery did counter me. I don't know. Maybe that was just bad. The problem is I have a five, a six, another five. feels like not playing anything doesn't work out super well, but... Maybe because the Arwen is pretty strong. Just waiting a turn would have been better. So bad if I draw a four drop then. They mill themselves. They milled Rohirrim Lancer. Okay. <laughs> uh, sure. I guess I guess I could draw that now. Really good card in your opening hand. Less good playing it on turn four with no other play. But next turn I'm going to get to play Quick Beam at least. If this doesn't die. If it does die, I'll just play Sirith Ungol Patrol, and that's also fine. Though I suppose if they amass more onto this, I might just cast Lash. Okay, I got a 12 here. Bounce that and the ring Tempsey. Okay. Um Delighted Halfling. Brandywine Farmer. Okay, it kind of felt like they had a counter spell, which is one reason they bounced the the halfling. But now I get to lash on the cheap, sacking Brandywine Farmer. Which sounds pretty good. If they don't have another Saruman's Trickery, I'm pretty happy. Okay, they didn't. All right. I mean, if they have another play here, it feels like they have something. Maybe it's a land cycler and they're just going to cast it this turn. An Oliphant or something. But now I can play an uncounterable quick beam. Discard a land. Draw two cards. Make a human. It is a little unfortunate that I'm not getting... Oh, well, I was going to say that I'm not getting the attack value, but... Ooh. Generous Ent. I could play quick beam, then generous Ent. I could also play the... Sirith Ungol Patrol. They don't really have anything in play. 
Let's just play generous Ent first. The reason I wanted to play Ent first is, regardless of which order I play, they attack for about the same amount of damage, but there's a lot of counter spells in this format, and getting to play this uncounterably because of Delighted Halfling seems like it could matter. This is also better to get bounced for me because it makes a food when it comes into play. Pillar Gear Survivor has not seemed super impressive. I guess in the right deck it could be good, and they have played a lot of sorceries and instants here. Yeah, their uh, Wizards card, the one blue red, deal X or X number of spells in your graveyard, can kill Generous Ent. Okay, it's tapped down, I guess. Okay. What are they casting on this? Just straight up just plus three plus two for two mana i'm a little scared now 10 let's see one two three four five six seven instance and sorceries they're not that close to killing me off of uh huh let's go sirith ungold patrol and pass the turn because I can sack a food that way, and I, I don't think I need to play Quick Beam this turn. I'm, I'm just worried that they're going to deal X and, and the, the spell that has Trample, and I was just talking about, try to kill me. I could have also used Ents Fury to kill the Pelor Gear Survivor, but that didn't seem super impressive. It's just weird that they would just fire off Deal 3 to your face here. Unless they had, you know, a reason to do it. I, I guess I don't know. Okay, they're going to mill themselves. For three, they mill another spell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, they have, they have a lot of uh, spells in their graveyard. That's why I'm prioritizing using, using the food here. Land. So if I play Quick Beam, I can still use food. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I could also kill the Orc army with Ents Fury. I kind of like that. Okay. And then I'm just going to pass the turn. I, I just feel like they're, they're going to try to burn me out here and by using all this food, it, it makes it all less likely. All right, let's sack the generous Ent. Oh, I could have also used the fight spell on generous Ent, because if you have a plus one, plus one counter, uh, you, you actually do get to untap there. Okay, well, the food is going to get me out of range here pretty quickly. And that's my plan. I just felt like I was getting close to getting burned out. I wanted to at least win one game here. Oh, now they're milling me. Okay. Um, they can't. They don't have counterspell mana up. So let's play quick beam. Ents fury. Fight their thing and then attack for twelve trample. And then now I've got nothing, but I'm at 16. So they, unless they have two copies of the spell, it'll be hard. But even two copies won't do it because they can burn the Delighted Halfling and the rest to me. It's like 10 or something. Well, maybe two copies would work. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and they attack with the Ring Bearer. Go to 15. I mean, if they have it, they have it. They have to kill the, the quick beam, I think, or they or they risk just dying right on the spot. They have to have it, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Yep, Gandalf Sanction. That's what it is. I, I had to wait for him to play the card to f figure out finally what it did. <laughs> All right. Delighted. Play this. No attacks because this can block their ring bearer, so they don't get. They're not getting free loots on my watch. Mm, okay. I mean, if they drew nothing, it's not unreasonable to attack here. Yeah. This card does deal a lot of damage. 
Are they, oh, are they going to cast something before blocks? Isolation at Orthanc. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, they're at four now. Would have a spell that turn would have probably clinched it. I mean, if they have a second Gandalf Sanctions, it's pretty bad for me. Oh, they, they didn't draw anything and they have to block now? Well, that that's going to be pretty hard for them to come back from. So Gandalf Sanction is currently 12. All right, so I'm going to play the Delighted Halfling. But it's a weird spot. Sometimes you, if you play a low-toughness creature, you might just die to this card. So you got to watch out for that. <laughs> oh, Breaking of the Fellowship. Doesn't get there, and Sirith Ungol Patrol does the trick. Wow. Well, we got one. You're saying there's a chance. All right, we're on the board. We're on the board. I still don't really know how to build this deck. <laughs> uh, like, is Shalab's Ambush good? But I still don't think Peregrine Took is that good. Is it, would another Generous End be good? I mean, the card is really good. Maybe it's better than Build a Pony. Maybe now that I don't have Peregrine Took or... Errant Rider, I can cut Build a Pony and just play. Or maybe I just play the Enraged Horn at that point and get, get a little tempting going. All right. And then I, I could probably go down to one planes and play an additional Swamp. Or I could go down and just play an additional Forest. That might be better. One. Two. The four white sources. Uh, I can probably afford the second planes. All right. One and two, but we're down, but we're not out. All right. We got a opponent right away. You love to see it. Sam Black. All right. Let's hope we uh, have built a deck good enough to take him down. Opponent goes first. Oh, we finally have Delighted Halfling in our opening hand. So, yes, I would say that we're, we're into this. Turn one, Esquire of the King. All right. So I can play a turn two, Smeagol. I might just play the the Woes Pathfinder. Yeah, because now if I play Woes Pathfinder, I can play a turn three, uh, Sirith Ungol Patrol, which is pretty nice. All right, red, white aggro. I'm going to take it. Please don't kill any of my stuff. Oh, okay. Sure. Uh, I don't think I want to cycle the troll. Doesn't seem very good. Let's play this. <clears throat> That's a really fast start against red white. Turn three, four, five. All right, they get to loot. I don't think that's going to be good enough here. Next turn, I can play troll. I can also at some point sack a creature to the patrol to make the ring tempt me for Smeagol. Oh, there's Quick Beam. Let's go Troll first. It's not attack here, there's no real reason to do that. And then maybe get Quick Beam in there. Okay, whenever a human comes into play, your creatures get plus one, plus oh. Yeah, they can't really attack. All right, land. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I guess that's the way I'm going to tap. Quick beam. Plus two, plus two, and trample on those two. I think I just, I'm at 18. So the problem is Urkenbrand is an actual threat because let's say he plays all humans get plus, the, the two mana make two humans. All his creatures have plus two, plus O. Oh. And then I have two blockers. Let's say I block that and that, and I take five, eight, 12, uh, 18, huh? Don't like that. Let's attack with the troll. Yeah, I like this a lot more when this wasn't in play. Feels like I'm close to dying. Yep, that's the card I was worried about. But. I'm not dead yet. If he had another human, presumably he would have played it first. Oh. He could have given them all haste. 
Okay, I block three things and I take 17, I think. Those three, four, eight, twelve, seven. All right. So let's see. This goes there. I mean, I guess they all. No, I guess this has to go there. That goes there. This goes here. And do I want to sack a? Do I want to sack delighted halfling to make a food token? Um, I'm taking seventeen, going down to one here. Because I think I want this to trade. I don't think I want to sack that. Let's see. Yeah, I guess I have to sack Delighted Halfling here. Okay. So now I can play a blocker, go up to four, block two things and I don't die. This also pumps, I can block. Let's see, if he pumps that and I block two things, then I do die. So this gains three. Mm, does attacking with that doesn't do anything. The question is, is it better to play, if I can just play two blockers, is that better? I can play a four, two and a one, one. And then, no, that's not better. So let's just play this. So I, I lose two. I lose to a land or a good spell. Yeah, I guess attacking with the troll. The problem is if I don't attack with the troll, it doesn't really do much. All right, yeah, I'm pretty dead. Block, block. Sack of food and then die. I almost got a new lease on life by playing this post combat, but or post giving haste, but wasn't enough. And uh, this is not a great showing for food. All right. Well, I'm going to have to get back in the queue after this one. But uh, turns out the green decks, the green food deck didn't didn't quite deliver to me. I went one and three and uh, I even had some pretty good starts. But old man Willow, I never got to attack with this once and I had two of them. That was kind of what I was hoping to do. So. Thanks for watching. Not every venture is a success, as you can see, but you know what? The best thing you can do is pick yourself up off and try again. I'm interested in exploring more 15, 14 land decks with lots of land cyclers. That seemed like it could be reasonable. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that ends up playing out. Alrighty. If you like this video, you can follow the channel. Got a new video every day, and uh, most of them have more wins than this one. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.